thoroughbred racing industry in Australia is very large. It employs over 250,000 people Australia-wide. There's over 360 tracks um, throughout the country. Uh, in metro and in, in almost every regional town, there's a racetrack. And there's almost 2 million people a year attend a race meeting. Every racetrack puts on uh, somewhere close to 40 to 50 race meetings a, a year. And those 40 to 50 race meetings, you need chefs, you need waiters, you need uh, wagering terminal operators, you need uh, uh, attendants to assist with um, you know, moving people around, concierges. So, so the industry is very similar to what's available in, in, in a hotel environment. And in addition, in the future, I'd say technology will play a bigger role. There'll be people that are, you know, that are more IT um, vision focused and audio focused uh, because we're becoming more and more reliant on that as a, a, as a medium to in keep people engaged on a race day. I started as a chef in the industry and I'll add it here and now that my father helped me get my first job interview. So my father's networking helped the son and I've had a varied roles in the industry from a duty manager, rooms operations, food and beverage operations, general manager. I've worked as a regional general manager and even spent a year in corporate travel at corporate travel management as the general manager of their office in WA. And m most recently in the last 18 months, I've been the CEO at Perth Racing and we look after two race tracks there, Belmont and Ascot race tracks. The main reason, and I, I spent a bit of time thinking about this, it, look, I like people. And I think uh, I like um, what the industry gives you because people are, you know, you've got to be hospitable, you've got to get along with people, you, you can develop people. And I think it's a very young feeling industry and um, I like that. My role now has changed a great deal since I've um, moved on from being in the hotel division. I've, I've had to spend some time learning about the industry. I, I, knew, I knew elements of the industry that I was going into, but I've had to learn about the wagering side of things and, and track maintenance. Um, but I think it's always good to continue to learn. Uh, so I go out to learn that information. I learn it from people firsthand and I try and learn it from um, a whole range of people so that I get a broad understanding of the new, the new parts of the business I'm in. The other parts of the business that I'm in that are similar are the food and beverage and the event side of things and marketing and, and finance. And I, I spend time spread across all those areas of the business. I spend a lot, a lot of time in a day doing stakeholder management, dealing with uh, government or uh, stakeholders in the industry that uh, require something from the track or some service from the, the facility. And I spend time with my ex executive working through issues like human resources and what's happening with our enterprise agreement. Uh, I spend time with our lawyers working on our development proposals that we've got to grow the business. And so a, a fair bit of time we're working with that, working on the finance side of things, making sure that we're uh, you know, achieving our goals financially and working with the team to make sure that they're happy with what's going on. So a broad range of activities now. Um, I spend some time in the operational part of the business and that's just to uh, make sure it reflects where I think we're heading from a strategy perspective. But all in all, uh, it's the majority of the time spent with the people that are making the difference to the industry rather than just the people within, within my team. I think you have to understand that to be successful in anything, you have to like what you do. And I think so first and foremost, you need to enjoy what, what hospitality and tourism offers. Secondly, I think you need, if you want to be successful, you need to make sure you continue your education. Uh, so once you finish your undergraduate degree, you should consider in the future going back and doing more study to keep yourself relevant and up to date with what's going on. And thirdly, I think you need to work hard. And, and when I say work hard, I think you need to work really, really hard. If you want to achieve and be one of the, the highly successful people in your industry, no matter what industry you go into, I think you have to work hard and harder than probably you, you expect you will have to. However, if you work hard, the rewards are there at the end. The person that's committed is normally the most successful. And it, it's the same at university. If you, if you become committed at university and you work hard, you'll be the distinction and the high distinction, distinction student. If you, uh, if you work hard at work, you'll be the person that gets the promotion. And I, I can't stress enough that, that all, from all hard work, good things come.